does having Jewish DNA determine your Jewish status? Great question. The answer is your Judaism is determined by your mother. If your mom's Jewish, you're Jewish according to traditional Judaism. Now you could have a very high count of D Jewish DNA and that's awesome. That means you're connected to the Jewish people, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're Jewish. Don't forget, there are people that convert to Judaism and they have zero DNA and they're 100% Jewish. Does having Jewish DNA... All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, while we're Chakwadash, with Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and Rakhakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach all the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And today, I just want to do a lesson on this Instagram reel that I ended up seeing earlier uh, today. Or actually, it was uh, yesterday, excuse me. And, you know, you see this uh, Jewish rabbi. He's telling you that you're two things. He's telling you two things. One, your nationality is based off of um, who your mother is. And then secondly, he's telling you that you can basically switch your nationalities. That's what he's saying, which that's complete madness, okay? That is complete madness, and that's not according to the scriptures. And another thing, a side note, the, if you don't know, which you'll know now, these Jewish people, they are not the Israelites of the Bible. They're actually... The biblical Edomites, in particular, the Amalekites, which the Amalekites are a tribe of the nation of Edom. All right, the, uh, the Edomites. Okay, and um, you know that's a whole nother lesson within itself. But point being, these people, they don't follow the scriptures. Okay, you know they they know the scriptures. Okay, because they have to use that as their front to show the world that they are. You know, the Lord's chosen people according to them. But in reality, okay, what they follow is the one, the Talmud, all right? And the second is the Kabbalah. Those are their two main books. And they also have several other books. Several other books, okay, that they follow. You see? And in those practices, all right, in, the, in those books, this is what they tell them. And then, like I said, it's not according to what the scriptures say. And, and that proves to you right there that these people, they're really not the Lord's chosen people. They're completely against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh, as I said earlier, that's the Heavenly Father's true name. And Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. They're completely against the true living all right, power. You see? But let me start off with this, okay? Because... This was that state. Both of them are, are, you know, you know, it's just confu It's just utter confusion. But what really, you know, you know, what really boggled my mind, all right, was the fact that this guy said that basically you have converts that have no Jewish DNA in them, according to what he said. But but since they converted, now they're Jewish. That's madness. How could you just switch your nation just because you, you know, believe in a particular thing? That is madness. Okay? You see? But hey, we're here to debunk these things. But let's get this. Let's start off with Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 7. Remember the days of old. Consider, consider the years of, my, of many generations. Ask thy father and he will show thee. Thy elders... And they will tell thee, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Main point is in verse 9 right there, or verse 8, it says that the Most High divided the nations, okay? He separated the sons of Adam. Now let me look uh, up a word, okay? Let's look up this word. In that, uh, uh, um, what was that, that Genesis? Okay, what was that, Genesis, or Deuteronomy, excuse me. 
the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32. And uh, let's look up this word right here, real quick. Here we go, separated. Okay, it's a, uh, I believe it's a uh, uh, pronounced a uh, parad, huh? Parad, which is a. Uh, it's H sixty five oh three. And right here it says this is the definite uh, definition. Let's just get straight to the point. To make a division, make a separation. You see. To disperse, scatter, sever. Okay, so the Lord, basically, he made um, nations different. They are not the same. Okay, and let's get a scripture here in Sirach, or Ecclesiasticus, which is in the uh, Apocrypha, which the, these books that are in the Apocrypha, they are a part of the Bible. Okay, because you'll have some people say that they're not canon, which they are. You know, they... they, they um. If you get a 1611 King James Bible, these uh, um, these uh, books are, 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 you know, are in there, okay? These scriptures were taken out or omitted, all right? When the, uh, what was it, the Bible destruction uh, 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 group came along and they took out these books because... They basically link so-called white people to the you know biblical Edomites. Simple as that. And if you take out these particular books, all right, then um, then you basically won't really understand the scriptures. They did it for a reason, okay. But let's get this. That was just a side note. Let's get a uh, Sirach thirty-three and. Let's start at 10. This is uh, Sirach 33 and 10. All men are from the ground, and Adam was created of the earth. In much knowledge, the Lord had divided them and made their uh, ways diverse. Okay, it shows you right there that the nations are different. Okay, and he divided them. So you just can't switch your nationality. That is madness. You cannot do it. You are... All right, who whom your father is? That's that. And let's get that scripture in the book of um, Numbers one and eighteen, real quick, to prove that statement. This is Numbers one and eighteen. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after the, their families by the house of their fathers. Okay, let's look up that word pedigree. I don't give a really a good definition um, in the Hebrew, but basically your pe pedigree is going to you know your seed line, okay? You know, simple as that. You know, we don't we don't have to sit here and um, make this too complicated. Let me see if I could just do this real quick. Let's look up a uh, pedigree, a basic definition. Your ancestry, your what, your lineage. You see. Who you are, right here, your race, your bloodline, your family. Okay? It even goes into paternity, which that goes into, you know, uh, um, you got to uh, be, you know, that that's going through your, your, your father's, you know, line. Okay? So point being is, you uh, are whom your father is. Okay? And look, the Lord, he made many nations. Let's get Genesis, the 10th chapter, just to, you know, show you real quick, right? This is uh, Genesis 10 and 1. It says here, now these are the generations of the sons of Noah. 
Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and unto them were sons born after the flood. Now, I'm not going to read all these uh, families, okay? And I'll say this, another side note, more families were created after, all right, this particular chapter. But point being, though, is it shows you, um, you know, the, uh, uh, the nations, okay, of this world. All right, look, it goes in verse 2 says, what, the sons of Japheth. You go down um, to uh, verse 6, it's, it says the sons of Ham, okay? All right, uh, let's see, where, where does it say Shem? Um, Verse 21, it talks about, uh, uh, or no, 22, it talks about the sea line of Shem, you see? Then let's just get this last uh, verse here in uh, Ju uh, Genesis 10 and 32. These are the families of the sons of Noah after their generations in the nations. And by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. Right there, it shows you how these families were, you know, divided. They had their own lineage. They became their own people. See, the Heavenly Father can do these things. He can make nations. Because He's the Heavenly Father. Simple as that. Alright? And you are who you, whom your Father is. And these, I'll say this. These nations are still uh, on this earth today. Okay? You know? Like I said, a few nations were added, you know, after um, um, this chapter here. Okay. You know, for example, you you have um Ammon, Moab. You have Ishmael, Esau, Jacob. Okay? See? But uh let's go back to this in uh Sirach 33 cuz I don't think we finished it out. Let's read it. Again, this is uh Sirach 33 and 10. And all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of the earth. And much knowledge the Lord had divided them, and made their ways diverse. Some of them he hath he blessed and exalted, and some of them he sanctified and said near himself. But some of them he some of them hath he cursed and brought low and turned out their places. And let me keep reading. As the clay is in the potter's hand, well, you know what? I'll break down 12. Look, you're going to have uh, uh, a blessed nation, which that nation is the, um, all right, the most blessed nation is the nation of Israel, okay? We are the most blessed right now. The reason why we're not on top, which, um, side note, if you don't know, the nation of Israel consists of you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And also, to add in there, we have some of our people who look like heathens, and that's because our men, they intermingled with the heathen women. And now, with that being said, some of our people actually look like the heathens. Okay, but point being, you Israelites consist of you so-called black Latinos and Native Americans. We're the blessed nation, but the reason why we're at the bottom is because we disobeyed the Lord. So he punished us. Okay? And this is why... You know, all the other nations are on top. You know, in specific, you know, the Edomites. Okay? In specific, the Edomites. And their top tribe are the Amalekites, which are your modern-day Jewish people. And that's a whole nother lesson within itself, but that, that that's who they are. Okay? All right? And how it says here, but some of them have the cursed and brought low. And, you know, that's going into... Yeah, you, you, actually, these Edomites are the uh, the most cursed. Hey, they're, they're the Lord's cursed people. All right, as it says in the book of um, Isaiah, the thirty fourth chapter. Just because they have you know power and dominion right now, that doesn't mean it's going to last forever. Okay, but let me keep reading. This is Sirach thirty three and thirteen now. As the clay is in the potter's hand, to fashion it as he uh, at his pleasure. So man is in the hand of him that made him, which that there, of course, is the Heavenly Father, to render to them as likened him best. So the Lord, 
he made uh, uh, different nations. And he has a reason, you know, for these things. Because they have, all nations have a role in the Lord's movie. Okay? They have, um, you know, a specific, you know, they have specific instructions to follow. Okay? A specific script to follow. All right? You see? And like I said, hey, that, that guy, that, 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 that Jewish rabbi, he, he's bugged out. He probably, you know, knows the truth too because a lot of those rabbis, they actually know what's going on. They know the scriptures. They know that they're the Edomites, but they got to keep, you know, putting on this, um, this face, all right, you know, to the general public so they can, you know, believe, uh, uh, believe them basically, all right. But what that guy was talking about was complete madness, okay, and we just brought out some scriptures to prove it. Like I said, you know, your nationality is determined by your father. And there's no way you can just hop teams, man. Can't just switch your nationality. That's crazy. That's madness. Okay? That is, you know, complete confusion. Alright? But, um, you know, I'm going to end off this lesson. You know, I wanted to do a little quick one, you know, off of that, uh, off of that video, because like I said, that, that that popped up in my feed, and you know it had you know so many likes and so many comments, and you know uh, hey, we got to keep pushing out this truth, okay? Whether people like it, believe it or not, we got to keep pushing this, you know, this word, this truth, all right? Because look, hey, a lying, you know, lips, you know, are for a moment. All right, you know, we'll end off with that because I don't want to butcher it. It's in the book of uh, Proverb, Proverbs, okay? Let's get, um, hold on, how is it worded? Um, let me see if this comes in. Here we go. Oh, it was lip. That's why it wasn't lips. All right, but let's get this. This is Proverbs 12 and 19. The lip of truth shall be established forever. See, truth is going to reign forevermore. Okay? It's going to prevail over lies, over deceit. See? Let's keep reading. But a lying tongue is but for a moment. And that's all it is. These lies that are pushed, you know, pushed forth right now that are in this earth, it's only but for a moment. Eventually, a uh, the um, um, eventually deceit is going to be quenched. All right, as the scriptures say in the book of Second Ezra, you know th this only has a, it's only but for a moment. Eventually, it's going to cease and end, and we're in that time period period right now. Okay, you know, a <laughs> truth is a. a Springing forth, man. Okay, it's, it's, it's back in this earth. There's nothing these devils can do about it. All right. But that's pretty much it. You know, I'm going to end off this lesson. Hopefully it was an edifying one. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.